Brajan Photography. This is your tutorial for making a favorite selection and also for making purchases. You would have gotten an email that has the direct link to it. Otherwise, point your browser to brajanphoto.com. On the bottom here, click on Clients. Once you're on this page, please select the appropriate folder. Once you've landed on this page, in your email you would have received a keyword. If it was a personal session you would have received a passcode. In this particular instance we're going to enter the keyword. You can either hit enter, return, or click on the go button. Your pictures will populate. If the person is in a group photograph they will appear in that group as well. What we're going to do is we're going to select our favorite item photograph first. So up in the upper right hand corner here, select Photos. And then I'm just going to select this one. On the upper right hand corner here, it's going to say Add to Favorites. Because I'm not signed in yet, it's going to ask you to log in or create an account so these items can be saved. And then you can track them later on. If you have not already created an account, you can do so on the right hand side here. Click register. I have already done so, so I'm just going to log in. Because you selected your favorite on the previous screen, it is already populated and it is up here. I have multiple categories because I've done this before. You will only have one. If you want to change your favorite, go ahead and select photos. Unclick that. Click on another one and click on Add to Favorites. Once that is done, you can go into the favorites here and you can delete the one you don't want and this one will remain. I'm going to go ahead now and go into the purchase part. I select uh, all so I get all these pictures in my next screen and then I'm going to click on purchase or buy. This will land you on a page to select the type of product that you are um, wanting to get. You can either select prints, which will be on the left hand side here, greeting cards, photo gifts, home decor, including canvas prints. We're going to go on see all for prints. Your image will populate here. Now because we selected all, you look down here, it says 104, you can click on this arrow and go to the next image. You do have the opportunity to crop, but that is your responsibility to make sure that all of the picture shows up in the print, which you're able to verify during the checkout procedure. Select the product that you care to have. Product total tells you how much this product is. The finish type, I usually just leave it at e-service unless you want something more specific and then product details is down here quantity and I can just click on add to order if I have if the person has a friend or in this case we have 19 people in there you can order uh, multiple pictures and be able to share them with your friends go ahead and click add to cart at this time it's going to ask you if you want to go back to the gallery this is going to take you all the way back to the beginning you can view cart if you are done purchasing or you can click on continue shopping I'm going to click on that just so I can show you how to toggle through the other pictures. With this picture um, here, I'm going to show you a interesting thing here. It, it defaulted to 8x10. 8x10 is not a full frame. This particular size category, I always prefer the 8x12 because that will give me full length. Double check your price finish, quantity, down here is the product description, and if you like, go ahead and click Add to Cart. At this time, I'm just going to go ahead and view cart. Here you have many things to look at. You can either go back to continue shopping, all the way back to the beginning of the gallery, you can share your cart with somebody, or you can just check out what I prefer you to do is go ahead and check the products that you have selected. Because I've been in here before, some have been saved. If you feel like you have duplicates of things, 
you can go ahead and hit the X button here and that will go ahead and delete those line items off so you don't have duplicates. You can also click on here and do some editing. Double check your price, your quantity, you can change in here as well. As long as you see that everything looks well, and uh, we can go ahead and click on the checkout. You don't have to worry about being charged until it shows the charge site. So here, just be sure that you have the correct address in here. Email address is very important also for me notifying you of your purchase uh, status. If you have a coupon, you can add it in here. This is just verifying once again of your address. The next screen will be verifying your address again, gives you all the opportunity, also for shipping. Because I have a rather large order, it's going to cost me a little bit more to ship. If you have a smaller order, it'll cost as little as $4.25 to ship. And they usually ship it out within three days, unless it's during a holiday, it may take longer. Again, you can type in a coupon code here and hit apply. Let's go to the checkout screen. On this screen, you notice that you can enter in your credit card, debit card, or your PayPal. Here, billing address is the same. If that is not, please uncheck that. If you have a coupon, here's your last chance to enter in that coupon code and hit apply. Shopping cart, you can change that anytime up until this point. Your address, email address, phone number, you have opportunity to change that up until this point. Once you click on continue checkout, you go to the confirmation site and you will be billed and your order will be in there. Now I have to go through the order to make sure that uh, the cropping is good and then I'll submit it to my vendor. So you do have one last chance to change things, but please be sure to double check your pictures and your order to make sure everything is what you want. If you have any additional questions, please give me a call, text, or email me. I'll be sure to help you. Uh, thank you so much, and 